The Moon, our celestial neighbor. The Moon, our planet's only natural satellite, has captivated humanity for millennia. Since the dawn of civilization, people have gazed up at the night sky, mesmerized by its soft glow and ever-changing phases. Its influence on Earth and its unique characteristics make it a subject of endless fascination. Today, let's embark on a cosmic journey as we explore some of the most interesting and factual aspects of the Moon, our celestial neighbor. A violent birth, the formation of the Moon. Have you ever wondered where the Moon came from? About four and a half billion years ago, our solar system was chaotic and violent. A Mars-sized object slammed into Earth, ejecting material into space. This debris formed a ring around Earth, eventually coalescing into the Moon. This event, known as the Giant Impact Hypothesis, explains the Moon's formation and unique characteristics. A Cosmic Dance, the Moon's Size and Distance Now let's talk about the Moon's size and its dance with Earth. You might be surprised to learn that the Moon is actually quite small compared to other moons in our solar system. It's about 3,474 kilometers in diameter, which is roughly one quarter the size of Earth. That's like comparing a basketball to a tennis ball. But despite its relatively small size, the Moon plays a crucial role in our planet's stability. You see, the Moon orbits Earth at an average distance of about 384,400 kilometers. That's like circling the Earth about 30 times. And this distance, my friends, is no accident. It's just the right distance to create the gravitational forces that stabilize Earth's axial tilt, which is responsible for our planet's seasons. Feeling light? The Moon's gravity. The Moon has gravity too, but it's much weaker than Earth's. It's only about one-sixth as strong. If you weigh 150 pounds on Earth, you'd weigh about 25 pounds on the Moon. Imagine jumping six times higher or lifting six times heavier objects. This is why astronauts could bounce around effortlessly. Now let's turn our attention to the Moon's surface, a desolate and unforgiving landscape shaped by billions of years of cosmic bombardment. Unlike Earth, which has an atmosphere to protect it from most incoming space debris, the Moon is completely exposed to the onslaught of asteroids, meteoroids, and comets. Over eons, these impacts have left their mark on the Moon's surface in the form of countless craters, ranging in size from tiny pinpricks to massive impact basins that span hundreds of kilometers. One of the most prominent features on the Moon is the South Pole Aitken Basin, a colossal crater that measures a staggering 2,500 kilometers in diameter and 13 kilometers deep. It's a stark reminder of the violent history of our solar system and the constant threat posed by these celestial wanderers. When you gaze up at the Moon, you'll notice that its surface is not uniformly bright. There are dark, smooth plains that contrast sharply with the brighter, heavily cratered highlands. These dark plains, known as Maria, which is Latin for seas, were once thought to be bodies of water by early astronomers. However, we now know that they are actually vast plains of volcanic basalt that erupted from the Moon's interior billions of years ago. These ancient lava flows spread out across the lunar surface, filling in low-lying areas and creating the distinctive patterns we see today. The Maria are predominantly found on the near side of the Moon, the side that always faces Earth, and they provide a fascinating glimpse into the Moon's volcanic past. Now imagine for a moment that you could shrink down to the size of an ant and take a stroll across the lunar surface. What would you feel beneath your feet? Well, you wouldn't find solid rock like you would here on Earth. Instead, you'd encounter a fine powdery layer of dust and rocky debris known as regolith. This regolith is the result of billions of years of meteoroid bombardment, which has pulverized the moon's surface rocks into a fine powder. It's like a giant sandbox, but instead of sand, it's made up of tiny fragments of rock, glass beads, and even traces of meteorites. Regolith poses a significant challenge for future lunar missions, as it can clog up machinery, damage spacesuits, and even pose a health hazard to astronauts. Since ancient times, humans have gazed up at the moon and marveled at its ever-changing appearance. From the slender crescent of a new moon to the full radiant disk of a full moon, our celestial neighbor undergoes a mesmerizing cycle of phases that has captivated sky watchers for millennia. But what causes these phases? Contrary to popular belief, the moon doesn't emit its own light. Instead, it reflects light from the sun. As the moon orbits Earth, the angle at which we see the sunlit portion of the moon changes, creating the different phases we observe. This lunar cycle from new moon to full moon and back again takes approximately 27.3 days to complete, and it has served as a natural clock for countless civilizations throughout history. 
let's talk about those celestial events that have captivated humankind for centuries. Eclipses. Eclipses occur when the Earth, Moon and Sun align, creating a celestial spectacle. There are two types, lunar and solar eclipses. A lunar eclipse happens when Earth casts its shadow on the Moon. During a total lunar eclipse the Moon can appear reddish, known as a blood moon. A solar eclipse occurs when the Moon casts its shadow on Earth. During a total solar eclipse, the Moon blocks the Sun, revealing the Sun's corona. On July 20, 1969, the world watched in awe as two American astronauts, Neil Armstrong and Edwin Buzz Aldrin, achieved what was once thought impossible, landing on the Moon. This momentous event, the culmination of years of scientific research, engineering ingenuity, and human ambition, marked a pivotal moment in human history. As Armstrong took his first steps on the lunar surface, uttering those now iconic words, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind, the world held its breath, united in a shared sense of wonder and accomplishment. The Apollo 11 mission, a testament to human ingenuity and the indomitable spirit of exploration, inspired generations and ignited a passion for space exploration that continues to burn bright today. Following in the footsteps of Armstrong and Aldrin, a total of 12 astronauts have had the privilege of walking on the lunar surface, conducting scientific experiments, collecting lunar samples, and planting the American flag on an alien world. These lunar pioneers from Apollo 11 to Apollo 17 faced numerous challenges and risks, but their bravery and dedication paved the way for future generations of explorers. The last human mission to the moon was Apollo 17 in 1972, but with renewed interest in lunar exploration, it's only a matter of time before humans once again set foot on our celestial neighbor. Have you ever wondered what causes the ocean tides to rise and fall with such predictability? Well, believe it or not, it's our celestial neighbor, the moon, that plays a major role in this natural phenomenon. You see, the moon's gravity exerts a pull on Earth's oceans, causing them to bulge out on the side facing the moon and on the opposite side of Earth. These bulges create high tides, while the areas between the bulges experience low tides. As the Earth rotates on its axis, different parts of the planet pass through these tidal bulges, resulting in the regular cycle of high and low tides we observe. So, the next time you're strolling along the beach, take a moment to appreciate the invisible force of the moon's gravity at work. Now, you might think of the moon as just a pretty face in the night sky, but it plays a much more significant role than you might realize. In fact, the moon is absolutely essential for life on Earth as we know it. One of the most important ways the moon influences our planet is by stabilizing Earth's axial tilt. Earth's axis is tilted at an angle of about 23.4 degrees, and this tilt is what gives us our seasons. Without the moon's gravitational influence, Earth's axial tilt would be much more unstable, leading to extreme and unpredictable climate changes that would make it difficult for life to thrive. So, the next time you gaze up at the moon, remember that it's not just a beautiful object in the night sky, it's a vital part of what makes our planet so special. As we conclude our cosmic journey to the moon, it's clear that our celestial neighbor is much more than just a ball of rock in the sky. It's a source of endless wonder, scientific inquiry, and inspiration for humankind. Its mysteries are gradually being unraveled, and with renewed efforts to explore and understand it, the moon will likely remain a focal point of human curiosity and discovery for generations to come. Who knows what secrets this celestial time capsule holds, waiting to be unlocked by the next generation of explorers?